So welcome back to a bit of Dreamweaver and web design. And uh, where we left off last time, we had ourselves a header, a body, or a main, should I say, and a footer, all within the body. And uh, in this particular video, I want to get into um, CSS. Uh, so using style sheets, just basic, and using them to uh, improve the look of the page. In other words, give it some style. So first of all, if you look over this side here, um, you should be on files probably uh, where you left off. We come across the CSS designer and we're gonna add a new CSS source. So this is gonna, first of all, what we need to do is create this style sheet. So this style sheet, you always call styles and we'll click okay. And we're gonna leave it as a link in there. I'm not gonna get into inline style sheets around it, anything like that. We'll just leave it as uh, a link. And if we click OK, immediately what you're going to have is you're going to have a link that's been put in your HTML down here because it knows now there's a style sheet. You'll also have a style sheet that's there. When I click on that, this is the style sheet. It's got nothing in it at the moment. Just get rid of this message that comes up. Um, other than it knows it's an English keyboard. Um, Control S, they will save independently. You can set it up to save all, but you, you can figure that out yourself. Um, back here, of course, this has got a, um, the source code has also got a star on it, so we can do control S on that as well, just to save them both. So I've got a style sheet here, all right, with nothing in it. It's not doing anything at the moment other than it's linked there, it knows it exists. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, put a style around the header. Now, sometimes you can mess about on here and down here going, where am I clicking? Am I clicking the image? Am I clicking this? Am I clicking that? The easiest way to do it half the time is get somewhere close to it. And then just click on that bit there. So this um, thing, I don't really know what it's called, in the um, in the bottom of Dream Mirror, it makes it easy to select something. So I've now selected the whole header. That's what I want you to do. Okay, so we're going to start um, or set up a style sheet for that. I'm just going to drag this out a bit here. Okay, and when I drag it out a bit, I'll have some properties up there like this. Um, if you've got a bigger screen, you might not need to do that, or indeed yours might be open already. Okay, so I've got um, a style. Um, I've got my style sheet, but I've got nothing that's actually doing anything at the moment. So I want to do it in global, okay? So within this header, notice how it's selected the whole thing there. And I'm gonna set up um, a selector for uh, that particular um, part of my website. So in this case, it's calling it body header, and that's fine. We can leave it as that, or we can um, call it something else. It's up to us. Okay, so we've got um, we've got a name for it there, and I pressed enter on the keyboard. Um, I'm going to untick show set. Show set is the things is for what you've actually done um, for that style. At the moment, I've done nothing. So show set is what you've actually set up. It means show what has been set up. So I've unticked that because nothing has been set up. If things had been set up and they had that tick, they'd be showing there. So that's a good thing when you want to come back and edit it. So at the moment, it's got nothing in it at the moment. Uh, at the moment, it's got nothing in it at the moment. Yeah, that's good use of English. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to background up here, and I'm going to select a background color. For this, I'm just going to make it like a, a bit of a, a light gray color, something like that. That'll do. Yep, I'll do like that. Okay. And then also, I'm going to do uh, something that, to do with layout. So I've come to layout here. And what I want to do is set myself up margin and padding. Now, margin is the area outside and padding is the area inside. So if you may imagine padding as being the uh, distance between the outside of the particular element you're looking at and the things that are inside it, and the margin is how far that is, whatever the thing is from the edge of the page. So margin, I don't really care about, but padding, I'm going to set some padding up in here. Now, if you notice when I was clicking, just before I clicked on that, it, before I clicked, it came up with some arrows. So you can actually drag across like that. And look at it moving. Look at it moving from top to bottom in the middle of the screen. Okay, so I'm going to set some padding up about five at the top and, uh, and five at the bottom so that things inside it are uh, five pixels away from the edges of this particular container. Uh, that one there, I just clicked on it by mistake. Okay, uh, if you want to just write five, it's sometimes a lot easier. Okay, so I've got 
that means that this image and whatever text I put in there will always be five pixels away from the edge of that box. Okay, that's how you mess about with the padding in there. As I said, you can also do things with the margin. So I've got that set up in there. I can now come back to my style sheet here. And if you look, it's got the background color in there. It's got the hexadecimal color for it, which when you hover over it, um, should give you the color. He says, there you go. Okay, and we've got that there. It's also easy to read. So in this body header, I've got all this padding set up and I've got that in there. And indeed I can change it in here. So if I want to go 10 in here and 10 in there and 10 left and 10 right, control S, yep. then all this will alter in there. And that's how it just shifts it across like that. Okay, so at the moment in the HTML, it looks like nothing is happening at all because um, what we can see in here, in this particular heading, it's got nothing uh, that, appear, that appears to be happening here, but it's got this applied to it. So that's defined under global. So it knows, the computer knows basically that this link and that style sheet is bringing that across to that header there. Okay. So at this point, we'll just leave it there and then I'll show you some more HTML in a minute.